Hi there, welcome back to ADSR Massive Tutorials. This is the fourth and final tutorial we're going to be doing on this feature, looking at kind of setting up a MIDI controller with Massive and uh, using automation with Massive inside your door. So I've got this kind of uh, chord stab here. It's filtered out at the moment. We've got a. And I actually include a link to download the patch directly from the MasterSynth.com website. There's a link on the screen to download this patch. We're not going to recreate it, but just so you could load up the patch and follow along. Um, we're going to look at some creative opportunities with sort of automating the macros down here and uh, using the MIDI controller to kind of control them. I've got my own tunes loaded up here, so I'll give you a quick spin of this. Yeah, 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 yeah. So we've got this chord stab quite deep at the moment. If we look at the MIDI for this, all it is, it's just off beat, it's just one one note, it's the same note all the way. So at the moment it just sounds very static, you know, we need to kind of get busy with the automation really, to just give that sound a bit of interest. So what the macros I've got set up down here, I've got a filter, so this is just controlling the cut off frequency of this low pass filter up here. So. And this second macro, I've named it envelope and it's controlling a variety of things. So it's modulation envelope, which is controlling the cutoff frequency here. It's uh, controlling the decay and the decay level or sustain on uh, that modulation envelope. I've also set it to this second macro is controlling the side chain here. And uh, a couple of people asked in previous tutorials why I set up kind of filter sweeps in this way you get a when you set up a macro to control the filter and like using the side chain you actually get quite a different sound rather than just using um like a filter sweep a normal filter sweep because this what the way i've got this set up here is i've activated the side chain so it's actually affecting the amount of kind of cutoff modulation you have so you get a kind of a a deeper sort of tone using it in that way so it's the side chain modulation on the cut off frequency the decay and the sustain of the uh, envelope modulation and also the release of the amp envelope so with the filter right open getting that long release which will be great for kind of breakdown sections and stuff I've also got this third macro here and uh, this is a bit of a funny one this is it's changing the chords so I've got it modulating the, the macro is actually modulating the pitch of oscillator 1 oscillator 2 sorry and the pitch of oscillator 3 and at the moment it's kind of like a you know the pitch the oscillator is set to a kind of chord stab so I've taken the pitch down of oscillator 2 by 5 semitones and the pitch up of oscillator 3 by by three semitones and then applying that pitch modulation there plus one on oscillator two and plus two on oscillator three it actually changes the chord so provided I go all the way to the right actually get some detuned stuff in the middle so again quite a nice thing to be automating We're actually kind of just changing the sort of vibe and the feel and giving that chord stab a little bit more of a riff. I've got resonance here as well and attack on the uh, modulation envelope there. So these are all things I want to automate with this track to just make that sound a little bit more interesting. So in the previous tutorial we looked at how we can use automation quick access in Logic. I apologize if you're a Cubase or Ableton FL Studio user. Um, I put a couple of links on some of the uh, comments in previous tutorials how you can get into sort of your automation quick access, the, the kind of equivalent thing in one of those doors. So with Logic this is how we set it up. Go to enable automation quick access, assign and go to edit and then I've got my Machine Mark 2 controller here. So Let's get massive back up here and for so for the first make sure massive is make sure your machine mark two controller is in MIDI mode there. So I didn't have it in MIDI mode. And then um, yeah, what I need to do now is just click on that first macro 
and assign my first rotary knob on the machine mark 2 controller to the first macro click on the second macro my second rotary knob on my machine mark 2 and just go through these five I'm assigning these here so I've got my MIDI controller controlling these five things and then um, that's all set up there we can see it's set up it's learnt those controls the attack the resonance the chord the envelope the filter close that uh, it's off now so if we load up massive again just double check and we've got all of those kind of set up and then what I can do now is I could actually just go right okay I'm just gonna play through this sequence here and just record say the filter sweeps that I want to do or the envelopes or I could do all five and the way I sort of try and approach automation recording it in live is obviously a lot more organic just the more natural way of doing things is you know maybe just play your tune back and just turn it up a little bit and it's just kind of like getting the vibe and the feel for it almost like you were doing a DJ set with it where would you want the track to go how would you want it to filter to create that kind of excitement and energy and stuff so what I'm going to do here is just put this channel into latch mode when it's in latch mode any kind of edits I make on this channel if it's in massive in this channel EQ or the bus send or whatever it records that as automation in latch mode which is great so we just have to be sure we turn it we put it back into read mode once we've finished recording so let's just play this through and then just record in some some automation so I'm going to start off with it all really deep the chord all the way to the left so it's got our first chord to have the resonance down the attack quite sharp so it's going to start off quite deep and then we're going to start filtering it in and out and stuff like that so just hit play and start automating really yeah, 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 very deep yeah, at the moment yeah, bringing that filter Breakdown section coming up, so throw it back out again and increase the envelope here. So we get all that release. Maybe change the chord now. get the kind of idea there so let's have a look if I just hit A on the keyboard brings up my automation lanes and we can see them all in here there's the filter the envelope the chord the resonance and the attack I mean and you can go back through you could edit that now you could go in and go right that's not quite how I wanted it to sound I want to highlight some of this and bring that down in the level a little bit or just you know kind of delete all of that automation there right click on your channel delete automation and just do it all again but the yeah. great thing is just yeah. recorded those kind of natural movements and stuff like that I mean it's the way I would record or set my or set up my automation my tracks just to play your track through from start to finish and just record all of that in I mean you might do it in maybe just do the filter in the envelope first time round and then go back and do the chord and the resonance but that's yeah. the general sort of vibe really and then make sure you put your track yeah. back into read again yeah. Yeah. got all our automations happening here now so there you go I hope you enjoyed that tutorial I hope you found it useful any questions please get in touch and yeah thanks for watching see you again soon cheers bye